Ready for this? Men with fingers dipped in solution or holding metal button hooks they'd use for your clothes would take your eyelids and flip them in. Everybody had their eyelids turned. They're looking for a disease called trachoma. Highly contagious with the number one medical reason to be deported. Okay, now I'm gonna start asking you questions. Okay. Did your employer pay for your voyage over? Yes or no? No? Okay, good guess. Yes? No? Okay. Anybody say yes? Yes. Right. yes. Oh, come this way. Meet with the judge. You're almost out of here. So, oh, yeah. Oh. Whoa. So the jobs are here, right? And, it, and what? It, think about this. Think, think that you all are Americans with jobs in, in America, and all of a sudden somebody is bringing cheap labor over from Europe, right? That's the problem, right? But also, if if you were brought over, you had to pay for your voyage. I don't know if you even studied this yet, but in colonial history, it's something called indentured service. It's kind of slavery. Right? So for your protection, the protection of American jobs, they ship you back. What about this one? Um, okay, there was some intelligence tests. You tell me what, what's happening in this cartoon, okay? Um, a girl has a tear going down her face. She's holding a rabbit whose eyes are closed. Next to her is a boy with a shovel digging a hole. Next to him is a girl with flowers and a tear. Who can answer that? Are they sad or happy? Sad. Okay, what are they going to do with the shovel? Why they, what are they doing? They're going to dig a grave. Okay, and what are they going to do with the flowers? Oh, okay, all of you passed. But guess what? If you were a Jewish kid from Russia who'd grown up on a farm, none of this made sense. That picture would be shown you and you would say, why are they crying over a rabbit? That's dinner, right? You wouldn't bury dinner and then you wouldn't put flowers on a grave. Because you, that's, that's disrespectful. You put a rock on a grave. Flowers wilt, and they'd be marked mentally deficient, right? And Congress would pass these quotas against them, right? Um, if you were a woman during certain years, you wouldn't be allowed into America. Unless you had a sponsor. So the famous story of Christina Jensen. She comes from Europe, from Denmark. She has a fiance in Minnesota, a farmer. They're going to live happily ever after. She gets here, no, his, his name is Olaf. No Olaf is here, right? So they detain her for 10 days. They hold her here. They send telegrams to Minnesota. Come pick her up your fiance in New York Harbor, Ellis Island, we have to ship her home because we don't want women to come in without sponsors, okay? No response, they ship her back. And on day 11, Olaf arrives. He'd been in a train accident outside of Chicago went crazy when he heard his fiance was sent back to Europe. He sent telegrams to Europe, bring her back on a third voyage. It took more than a week to come across the ocean. She was detained for more than a week. She was sent back for more than a week. She came back for more than a week. And the day that finally Christina and Olaf were going to meet, people came to work to see this reunion. But from the back of the boat came a piece of paper with one name on it, death in steerage. Christina Jansen, she died on the third trip. After all that, what was her crime? Yeah, no crime, she was a woman at a time when they didn't allow women in. So when something like that would happen, the government changed policies, they also, organizations came into existence to help the immigrants. 